the following bits of my video is me free motion quilting my quilt. And you'll have seen me starting in the very center. What I've done, uh, because I don't talk, I'm just going to put some music to that. Um, what, I've, what I've done, the snippets of that you will see, is I started by making these straight lines here. As I said I was going to do, you can't really see them, I'll try to get some better pictures. And, I, and you will notice that I'm using a masking tape, just a masking tape, a wide masking tape, or painter's tape, which I start, which I put the edge right along that seam right there, and then follow it all the way out to the end so I can get a nice, I can get a nice straight line. And then what I've done is I've actually, hopefully you can see that, I've actually come, I've done that on all the spokes, and then I've actually come back and I've just stitched a quarter inch away. I've stitched a quarter inch away from that stitching on either side, and then filled it with my circles. I was thinking about quilting this quilt, and um, the center here, the, the uh, Dresden plate, and I was wanting to do some kind of feather stitching which I have my stencils and I've shown you extensively. Well, because this is white, uh, I was very hesitant actually to mark my quilt since it's going to be hopefully accepted into a quilt show with any kind of marking at this point. I have used um, air erasables, I've used the water erasables, I've used chalk, I've used all sorts of things and it's very difficult on white and I'm feeling not real confident so I'm a bit of a one trick pony and I've just done my circles. Because Ian said, well, if it ain't broke, now fix it. I love doing my circles. I did my circles on my last sampler quilt. And as you can see, I've done my circles on all the sashing. And actually, it, it works up really quite nice, my, my, my uh, circles. But I'll get to that in a moment. So what I've done is I stitched my, outs I stitched my plate down here, out to the end. And then I came and I stitched this... Uh, sort of a sort of an echo, um, you know, this stitch here, whatever it is, this sort of pointed oval in, in the blades right there. And then I stitched this down. Now, and then I came back and I did the, the four pink corners and then I stitched in the ditch around my black and white. I did not stitch in the ditch as an entirety to secure my quilt at all. What I've done is because it's completely symmetrical and I have short runs, as it were, of stitching in the ditch, which means right here, right there, I decided to free motion quilt and then work my way out on all four sides at a, at a time. And so I then stitched this. So this entire center unit here was stitched, was all quilted, done. The rest of my quilt completely pinned. Then what I've done is I've come and I've addressed my, my black and white sashing, my black and white border here with just these decorative stitches here, which I actually did free motion quilt. Um, even though they're straight lines, I free motion quilted them. So I did all four stripes and the corner circle. And then I came back and I stitched in the ditch here on this seam here, right there. Then I addressed all of my uh, nine patches which punctuate all the way around this center square here. As you know we have 16 nine patches. So what I've done is I came and I, and I, I secured this stitching right there. That all the way down leaving them again just safety pin and then I st sewed my circles you can get the idea of what I'm doing all the way around my quilt here as you can see I just did it I just started quilting it from the inside literally out this was all this all had safety pins in it so I concentrated then on quilting my nine patches with this sort of curly Q in each piece and I did that and that I, I secured my block and then I went back and did my circles. And then I came and I did, I did all of them. And then I came back and I, I stitched down here. And I stitched here and did my circles. And I stitched these and I'm doing my circles. And as you can see, that's where I've gotten up to. My flying geese are still 
pinned and this is all loose. Wait a second. The edge of my quilt is still just all pinned and I'm going to now finish up my stripes here, my stripe border. You can see I finished stitching these now. I'm going to stitch this one and do my circles. Just as I've done this one, or this one, I've done my circles. My next, tr my next job is after I do my circles on my double row, I'll come back and I'm going to do, I'm going to secure here, and I won't secure here. I will, I will, I will stitch the white here, my little lines like I did there. When I'm done that, then I'll come back and secure. So I hope you get an idea of how I've done this, how I've quilted it. And I don't have a walking foot on my machine. I'm just using my free motion quilting foot right there. Uh, or, well, I was using my free motion quilting foot for most of it. And then for my um, straight stitches, I, I use that. I use my regular foot. But I've not, I've not stitched anything down. <clears throat> and, and that's unusual. Sometimes when you quote to quote you and you have a long line of sashing maybe you want to stitch that but I always find that sometimes or not 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 often but sometimes the fabric will shift and then you get puckers you get puckers at that seam that you've already stitched down so I don't stitch that I just and then I just smooth everything as you know me with in the beginning of my video here that, that I'm going to tack on I just smooth 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 and the um my, my quilt doesn't end up with any tucks or anything. So now, I have, well, I've taken some still pictures. This is the back of my quilt. This is my backing. <laughs> and as you can see, this is all loosey-goosey right there. And as I go along, it flattens out, it shrinks, and it, um, it, it is quilted with no tucks or anything. So uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna put this up because I know a lot of you were anxious to see how this would be quilted. And again, um, nothing to write home about, although it's very pretty. Uh, I like my Dresden plate there. I think it's very pretty. And I do like my circles. And there is, um, there is a sort of a semblance to these circles. As, as, you, as you know, this is a, a nine patch here. And so what I did is I reckoned each little square, one, two, three, would get two circles. And then one in the sashing. Right? So we come down here, two circles. And then one in the sashing. Two circles. And then this is two circles or three circles to that four patch two circles here or three circles there. So that's how I kept my, that's how I kept my circles uniform. Not that you could, not that you would, you're, you're, you're counting them, but I think visually to the eye, you see the circles if you go up. You think, oh, there is some semblance to that. So that's how far I am so far <laughs> with my quilt. It's working out very nicely. But I just wanted to explain that to you, that I did not stitch in the ditch and secure my quilt. I started in the very center, which and I always say start in the center of your quilt. That's the hardest part, right? Because I had to get what? It's 88 inches wide, so I had to get 44 inches. I had to get 44 inches in there. I had to get 44 inches in that throat, which I did. And I just sort of smush and shove. I don't roll it, I don't use pool noodles, I don't use, I don't roll it, I don't have it over my shoulder. What I do have is there's my seat, and then, as you can see, I have a table next to me, folding table, next to my, my, uh, my big table here, my sewing table. I know I'm very blessed to have this arrangement, because I have a large table, as you, as you know, so I, my, my quilt is supported beautifully on my table and uh, I, I have quilted king-size quilts uh, it, with an even smaller machine 
but the important thing is you have your quilt supported especially to the side of you and um, some on your lap but mostly to the side and to the back of the machine so there's zero drag on your needle your sewing machine needle so I'm gonna just put up some some photos they're not done real well because I didn't know how to set my my tripod up real well but you'll get the you'll get the idea of me quilting my quilt and how far I've gotten so far my little circles <laughs> yeah it's sweet oops yeah yeah I like it all right folks love from the true loves I hope you enjoy this video
Oh.